Yes, this is a quick install video for the new Mopeka LCD wireless display that we've come out with. Uh, a couple things I want to point out is this display is designed to monitor up to two tanks. You can either do one tank or two tanks. Um, and it's preset from the factory for 20 pound propane bottles, uh, like the kind you'd use on your barbecue. And so um, I'm gonna just run through a quick setup for you real quick and go from there. So the first thing you'd wanna do is push one of the buttons to activate the sensor. I push the button on the right, so we're gonna be syncing this uh, Mopeka Pro Universal Sensor to the right side or the right tank. So you do that by pushing the sync button. It syncs, it tells you you're synced up and you're ready to go through the process. So again, as I mentioned, this is set up for a 20 pound propane uh, barbecue bottle from the factory. So if that's what you're going to be installing the sensor on, you're basically good to go to go ahead and install the sensor and, and start reading. And if you have two bottles, you would do the same on the left side. But let's just say that the, your bottle is a different size than a 20 pounder or maybe even a different commodity. So what you'd wanna do is hit both of these buttons at the same time. That takes you to the home screen. And as you know, the right tank is lit up because that's the, the side that we synced the sensor to. So now we're gonna just start scrolling um, up to the setting here. And so now we're at sensor settings. You're gonna to wanna to hit both buttons and then slowly start scrolling over. And that gives you the option for your commodity, your tank style, your tank height, and your tank volume. Then also here at the end, if you want to uh, remove this sensor from your display, this is where you would do that. But let's go back to the beginning here to commodity. So like I said, this was, in, this was um, set up for propane from the factory, but if you have something different than propane, you'd hit both buttons, and then you can just scroll down between the different options of the commodities of like water, diesel, gas, heating oil, and other. Um, again, for this presentation, we're gonna stay on propane, but once you got that picked, um, then you'd go ahead and just hit both buttons and that would lock that commodity in. So we're gonna go back up to propane and lock in on propane. And now we're gonna move over to tank styles. So again, this was set for a 20 pound uh, barbecue bottle. So you would hit both, of, both buttons and you'd scroll down and you'd see your 20, 20 pound vertical and this measures anything up to a uh, hundred pound cylinder and then up to a thousand gallon propane domestic tank by just scrolling through. We've already have the dimensions and all the information in there for the basic tank sizes up to a thousand gallon tank. Now, if you have a cylinder or a larger type of tank, whether it's a water tank or propane tank, whatever you have, and it doesn't fit into the, the predetermined sizes that you have, we have arbitrary vertical and arbitrary horizontal. So let's just say you have a horizontal tank and it's, it's kind of a, a different size or something doesn't match up with what we have in our drop down. you would scroll to it, hit both buttons, it would pick that, and then you'd scroll over to tank diameter and you'd hit both buttons. And now you can see where this says 40.5 and the little orange cursor is right underneath the zero behind the 40. As you push both buttons together, it scrolls and moves over to each digit to where you can, where you can adjust the height or the whatever of each, each property here. So once you have your number figured in for your, for your diameter of that, of your tank, you would hit both buttons that would lock that diameter in and now you're good to move over to your tank volume and again it's kind of the same process you'd hit both buttons and then you can hit both buttons and that moves from digit to digit and then you can increase your digits or lower your digits by pushing either button and then once you have that in you hold both of them that locks that in and so then now that tank is set up in the system and you're good now to go and install your sensor as you as you normally would So let's say you want to remove that sensor that you've done. You can go over to the forget sensor, hit both buttons, 
Scroll down to forget sensor, hit both buttons, and it tells you right here, remove sensor. So now that sensor has been removed from the LCD display and you're allowed to go sync up a, a new one. One of the things I want to show you as well is once you get back, you can go to back, go over one more to, uh, I'm sorry, up to settings and on settings, you can also change the brightness from normal to high. And then you can also go to screen time, screen time out. So that tells you how long the display will be on. So from the factory, it's set at 20 seconds. So you'd hit both buttons and you can scroll from basically 10 seconds all the way down to one minute. And then once you get to whatever screen time you want, you hit both buttons and that screen time will be locked in. So now that display will stay on for that, for that period of time. We have one more option here for system information. It just basically gives you the information of your LCD display. It basically gives you a part number, the serial number of the display, and what firmware you're on in case that is ever needed for any type of troubleshooting or if you want to reorder. So I hope this has been helpful for you and we appreciate uh, your business. Thank you.